Hello, George again. Today I'm going to do a card trick on the AK. AK means any card at any number. Now this is a professional card trick. In my last video I did do an AK, but unfortunately this is not the tutorial for that one. But still, this is an impromptu one. Really good, can be done with any deck of cards. No gimmicks, nothing. So yeah, a very, very little sleight of hand. So I'll just get into it. The spectator can shuffle the deck. So if I just give them a quick shuffle, they can shuffle it as many times as they want. You, you don't have to do any special shuffles, so you don't have to shuffle it again. Cut the deck, do whatever they want. Now, freely chosen card, they can choose whatever one they want. So let's just say the seven of spades. Show them that they could have chose any card they wanted, literally. Yeah, turn it back over. Oops. They can shuffle the cards if they want again. They put it there. <coughs> they put it back on, like so. Cut the deck. They can cut the deck if they want. And then you just turn it over and go, I am going to find your card. As you do this, you go, Oof, I can't actually find it. You split them into two. Go, okay. Give me a number from 1 to 52. It can be a freely chosen number, let's just say for the sake of it, 7. So you fairly go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Point this card out. Go right, and then you just recap and say, so you choose a card at random, freely chosen card, you shuffle the pack, you then pick the number that is here, you turn it over, go pick it out, that's their card. Hello! Right, cool, let's get into the tutorial of this. What you need is just a normal pack of cards. It doesn't have to be anything special. That is the great thing about this. It, it, this involves the one, one sleight of hand and one thing to remember. So you've got to remember to use key card. Now your key card is uh, usually the top card. So you usually got to remember the top card do that however you want, you can glimpse it before, you can glimpse it in, I'll just give you a few examples so you can glimpse it before trick, that gives it nice and easy, but then obviously they can't shuffle the deck, or they can, but you've got to shuffle it, and you've got to keep it on top, for example, like that, so then it's still there, but an easier way of doing it is, right, they get to shuffle it, do whatever they want to it, like so, you then, um, they pick their card, like this. So they pick the four of diamonds. You then show them that they could have picked any card. As you do this, you just spread them through. Look at this card here. It's the four of spades. Fantastic. Okay, so you just say, okay, I'll just give them one more shuffle. Keep that four of spades on top, just there. When they put that on, you know their card is on the four of spades. Now, so when you cut your deck, you just cut it as many times as you want. They can cut the deck as well. When you spread through like this, you've just got to look for the four spades. It's here, and then it'll be <coughs> under um, at the top of that. So it'll be there, not underneath it. It'll be at the top of it, just there. So then you just go, oh, I can't really find your card. Oh, you split it into two like this. Sorry, split into two like this, so the four of diamonds is here. You, when you put the cards back together, you put the four of diamonds on top of the packet. So now their card is here. You then get to give them a number between one and 52. Now, it doesn't matter, it can be whatever number they want, just don't deal onto the table like this because that puts their card at the bottom. It's gotta be dealt into your hand like this. Okay, so say they say six, go one, two, three, four, five, and in the video I actually went six and then stuck out that one. Really, it should be five, six, but that doesn't make a difference. That wasn't, that was just a mistake by me. So six, stick it out like that, put these cards back on top, recap what you did. Now this is the, this is the only slide that you'll do. It was actually quite a bad by me on the video. It didn't work out very well, like I went to, I'll just show you the slide and then I'll go through it. So. You go for this, like your hand comes over like this, and then you just pull out their card. What I did there was that card stuck out. 
as I came over, my fingertips pushed in that card like that, and then pulled off the top card. Really, really easy, as long as you do it fast. I, in the video, I went like that, went to pull off the top card, and because I've got new cards, these ones slipped forward, so they poked out like that, so it's just, you just gotta be careful. So push it in and pull it off, as you can see, because these are new cards, they do slip about a bit, so you gotta keep a little bit of a grip on them, so maybe, actually, the mechanics grip might be a better grip to use, really. Bit of a tighter grip. So you go like that, pull it off, like so. But obviously, try and use a bit of uh, older cards, maybe is probably the best bet there. So one more time, just recap. They um, pick a card freely, you show them, get your key card, cut the packet, their card's now on top of your key card, you look through, find it, split the deck in half, so their, their card's on top, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, poke their card out, put them back on top. As you come over, you push that card in and pull their card out, like that. This is a very, very good card trick. Uh, it blows a lot of people away, so keeping that secret is really, really important. So although I'm doing that, I know I'm doing a video, I'm putting it onto YouTube, but, but try and keep the secret a little bit. People who uh, will find my video are obviously magicians, so that's the most important bit. Anyway, so like our video, follow us on Twitter, uh, and like us on Facebook, that really, really helps, and put us a subscribe in. Uh, as soon as we hit another, say, 350 probably, we'll do another competition uh, for Christmas. So yeah, thank you for watching, and catch you later.